All right, let's talk about sexual reproduction as a form of reproduction used by organisms. The main characteristic is that sexual reproduction involves two parents. It has to be two parents of the same species um, because you need the same number of chromosomes. So that's why you couldn't cross a rhino and a horse to get a unicorn. I'm sorry to burst your bubble. When you have two parents of the same species, the offspring that are produced are a combination of traits of both parents. So that's why um, the offspring can be different from each parent. They can be unique and diverse and show different traits from each of the parents. There's two types of sexual reproduction. First, you have pollination. When the reproductive cells of one plant fertilize or pollinate the reproductive cells of another plant, they're able to do that through insects and birds that feed off of the pollen in the plants. They transfer it when they go to another plant. You know, the birds and the bees talk. This produces seeds that can grow into a new plant. The second type is mating and fertilization. This is when the reproductive cells of one animal fertilize the reproductive cells of another animal. So think egg cells and sperm cells. The sperm cell fertilizes the egg cell and it creates a baby or an embryo. And that's about it.